is up guys? It is me Max back again with another guitar tutorial and today we are going to take a look at Torn by Ava Max. The song is played in standard tuning, no capo, no nothing, pretty much standard chords except for like one or two that are a bit unusual I would say, but nothing too crazy. And before we get started, my Instagram is down in the description as always, so feel free to check that out. If you want to talk to me or see what's going on in my life or something along those lines, I would be more than happy to see you over there. And without any further ado, let's roll. So first of all, let's take a look at the verse. And in the verse, we kick things off with a D minor. We've got our first finger on the first fret on the first string, second finger on the second fret on the third string, and third finger on the third fret on the second string. And now we don't want the sixth and fifth string to be making any sounds here, so we take our thumb, we wrap it around the top of our guitar neck here, and we slightly touch those strings. We don't push down, we just slightly touch them. And since that chord is actually what the majority of the verse consists of, let's take a look at the rhythm we'll be using here. What I recommend doing is just to go like that. We go down, up and slap your right hand onto the strings and mute them. Like that and then we go down up once more. The timing is something you'll get down while just playing along to the song because that is kind of hard to get across when the song is not actually playing in the background and since I can't do that without getting demonetized, we're not gonna do that. So as I said, it's really easy to figure out while playing along. So we just go like that. And we do that a couple of times and then we go on to our second chord, which is a G minor. We've got our first finger across all six strings on the third fret, third finger on the fifth fret on the fifth string and pinky on the fifth fret on the fourth string. We do the same thing once here. Go on to an F. And I recommend actually going for the simplified version of the F here because that is way easier to switch over in my opinion. But, ah, uh, well, now that I'm thinking about it, it doesn't really make a whole lot of difference. So I'm gonna show you both ways. The first way, the simple way would be to put your first finger only on the first and second string on the first fret, second finger on the second fret on the third string and third finger on the third fret on the fifth string and pinky on the third fret on the fourth string. And once again, we would have to mute the sixth string here. That's the easy version. And if you want to do it the exact way, you would have to put your first finger across all six strings here, second finger, third finger, and pinky stay exactly where they are. So we've got... And then we go back to... That thing. And then we already get into the chorus. In the chorus, we kick things off with a whole new chord, which is an A sharp. We've got our first finger across the fifth down to the first string on the first fret, second finger onto the third fret on the fourth string, third finger on the third fret on the third string, and pinky on the third fret on the second string. And once again, we have to mute that sixth string, and this time around, we can't really get our thumb up here without having to lift our first finger, so we do that this time by slightly touching that sixth string up here with our first finger. That's the A sharp. The next chord is one we already know, the G minor. Then we go to the D minor, we know that as well. And our last chord is a new one again, A C. We've got our first finger on the first fret on the second string, second finger on the second fret on the fourth string, and third finger on the third fret on the fifth string. And once again, we have to mute that sixth string. This time around, you can choose whether you want to do that with your third finger or with your thumb. I recommend the thumb because that's a bit safer in my opinion. So we've got the A sharp, the G minor, the D minor, and the C. And the rhythm I would go for is 
down, down, up, up, down, up. Down, down, up, up, down, up. We do that once on the A sharp, once on the G minor, once on D minor, and once on the C. And that is the whole chorus. The only part we have to take a look at now is the bridge. And the bridge is actually the easiest part of the song because we only strum down once on each of the chords I'm about to show you. And the first one is one we already know. Once again, good old G minor. Followed up by a D minor. And now we've got a new chord, an A minor. First finger on the first fret on the second string, second finger on the second fret on the fourth string, and third finger on the second fret on the third string. Once again, we have to mute that sixth string. By now it's getting old, but we'll have to do it once again. Thumb over here, muted. We've got G minor, D minor, A minor, and once again back onto the G minor. Then we go back to G minor, D minor, A minor, and instead of going back to the D minor the second time around, we actually go from A minor to A major. We've got our first finger on the second fret on the fourth string, second finger on the second fret on the third string, and third finger on the second fret on the second string. And you guessed it, we mute the sixth string. So we go. G minor, D minor, A minor, D minor, G minor, D minor, A minor, A major. And that is the entire song. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If so, drop it a thumbs up. Helps me out more than you might think. And if you haven't done so already and are new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It's somewhere down there. And as always, I hope that I will see you guys next time.